This video is dedicated to the neglected people of the world. The untold truth about the people of hard work, little pay and no appreciation. These men and women are the muscles of the world. They are the pizza delivery guy, dog walkers, babysitters, nanny, Uber drivers, Amazon's delivery drones, bartenders, gardeners, street sweepers, windshield cleaners, janitors, security officers, cameramen, editors, truck pushers, secretaries, nurses, teachers, personal assistants, mechanics, plumbers, bricklayers, carpenters, storekeepers, painters, drainage workers, laborers, receptionists. The list goes on and on and is far from exhaustion. These men and women are the backbone of the society. They form the pillars on which civilization is built and they are the invincible grace that ensures the smooth running of every day's activity. They dig, they clean, they hammer and juggle things around to make our lives better. Yet, they are never treated fairly by their employers. They receive far less compensation compared to the time and effort they put in in their work. The reason for their ill treatment is best known to their employers. Talent is not evenly distributed for the sake of establishing a codependency between humans. That is why we need janitors to get up the environment and CEOs to run things smoothly in the clean environment. Some people work at these menial jobs because of unforeseen circumstances. Others are natural built for this kind of work. Some will go as far as declining offers for better jobs just to do these menial jobs because it makes them happy. For this reason, we sometimes mistake them for second class and treat them like second class. We are equals. Everybody is a boss in their respective fields of expertise. Show respect to the other person when you are in his area of expertise and give them honest and sincere appreciation for a job well done. The men and women of hard work, little pay and no appreciation will never get a nickel increase on their paychecks, not to dream of a promotion. They are the ones on a constant threat for salary reduction because we don't know what we pay them for. Nobody cares to notice their presence until the day they leave. The day your babysitter does not show up for work permanently is the day you would recognize how valuable she was even more than your partner. The day your driver does not show up for work and you have to drive yourself to work and get to do his so-called menial job, that is the day you understand how much he does for you for little pay and no appreciation. The day you invite the business partner for some Italian food and Carlos, your cook, decides to quit that same day, you learn never to bite the finger that fits you, but to shower it with appreciation. The funniest thing about the men and women of hard work, little pay and no appreciation is that they are trustworthy to a fault and we trust them with our deepest secrets, our most valuable possession, our families and even our lives but yet we treat them with such content and disgust. We use them as tools to achieve our personal interests, abuse and question their loyalties at the same time. When we are done exploiting them and the time comes for us to compensate them as promised, we cook up lies and tell funny stories about them and make the world see them as the bad sheep. It is quite a paradox that we intentionally treat our babysitters and nannies and at the same time entrust our children's lives to them. You treat your personal assistant and at the same time entrust her to handle sensitive documents that could be used to sabotage your position in the company. Your driver knows things he is not supposed to know, but that doesn't bother you when you treat him. Little things do matter. In the same way you burnt all the midnight candles to be recognized and be appreciated by others, it is in the same spirit that these men and women of hard work, little pay and no appreciation work hard every day just to hear someone like you say, thank you for a job well done. Everyone craves appreciation, more pay and less work. So let's give honest appreciation when it is due to these neglected people of the world. A few kind words will not make you any less of the boss you want everybody to see in you. Don't forget you were once in their position before you rose to greatness and tomorrow. You may be humbled with the same job when your bank files bankruptcy. Trust me when I say this, I have witnessed it firsthand in my country caused by the ongoing crisis. Christmas is around. Use this opportunity to salute at least one of these great men and women before it is too late. If you still don't see the need to appreciate these men and women, May I remind you that from January to now, you have made contact with at least one and probably treated them. If not, you have a personal assistant, secretary editors, and this continues, that has handled three quarters of your shitty work, read and responded to your emails, scheduled counsel, and kept track of your meetings, not forgetting the times he or she acted as your babysitter. And all she got from your generosity is, what do I pay you for? When she screws up, you send her flowers with a gift card. What do I pay you for? She works 24 on 7 for you, carries work home just to make sure she gets right by you. She is a parent like you and her children needs their mother, as yours do. How many times have you heard the CEO of any company, small or big, probably appreciating their janitors, security and receptions, etc. in his company by names and not by support staff? Some don't even know the person keeping their office clean every day and not to talk of knowing them by name. How does a CEO of janitors sound to your ears? The day you start to sincerely appreciate the good deeds of these people of hard work, little pay and no appreciation, that will mark the beginning of a trouble-free world.
thanks for watching don't forget to like subscribe and share see you in the next video bye